I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. This quick tip will cut your podcast editing time in half. So if you're editing in the multi-track of Adobe Audition, do not do it in real time like this. Maxim, it is a pleasure to have you on the show. Hi there. An- oh, there's a gap there. I need to delete. Let's delete that and play some Hi more. there. An app- no, no, no. Never ever work in real time when you can enable time stretching and get your work done in double the time. So this is well, nearly 50 minutes. I can have this done in around 20, 25 minutes. And the way you need to do this is time stretch in multi-track. First of all, make sure this icon is clicked, toggle, toggle global clip stretching. This will speed up or slow down your audio. If you select everything or just the clips you want to stretch, grab the white triangles and bring them down to 50% like that, okay? Uh, you can also do the same if I just undo this by going into the properties panel and making sure it's in real time, not rendered high quality um, because that will use more of your CPU. Uh, so real time monophonic time stretching and type in 50% here. Boom. And now we can be editing a podcast in double the time. Look at that. Just under 25 minutes. This is exactly what I want. Tom, uh, he's the host of training such as the Audition CC Essential Training. Maxim, it is a pleasure to have you on the show. Hi there, it's an absolute pleasure. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to be done in, in double the time. This is amazing. So there's that awkward gap. I'm going to ripple delete here. Go. Hi there, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you. For- Perfect. And then let's listen to Maxim's first answer here. When you, when you get into Adobe Audition, how are you using it? Well, I'm, I'm a lazy consumer of technology. And- okay, so a little stutter there. I want to come in with... I'm a lazy consumer of technology. Rather than have this bit at the start. Well, I'm... So let's do another ripple delete around here. And we'll do... That and then I'm going to do a little crossfade there. Now, let me show you something when it comes time to make this all 100%. Select everything. Do not ever type in 100% here because you'll see, oh no, it's done something really weird and a strange fade there. That doesn't look right. Uh, well, the good way uh, to get everything back to normal is once you've selected all or hit Control or Command A on your keyboard, you'll have selected all the audio here in your multi-track podcast editing session. Grab the white triangle again, anyone will do, and stretch all the way back out until you hit 100% about now. There we go. And now all your edits will be intact and you will have done your podcast editing. Let's listen. To have you on the show. Hi there. That silence is gone and using it. I'm a lazy consumer. Perfect edit there. So all your edits done perfectly in double the time. Let me know if you use this tip and how you get on in the comments below. (laughs) 